Mr. Ball, show me the future. I see you will no longer worry about theft or fires. Your business will prosper and make you a rich man. That's excellent news. I have to tell my wife right away. I'm next. Is that fortune teller here today? In here. Mr. Ball, reveal this man's future for me. If you want to lead a long and happy life, you'll need to give up sweets and start exercising more, starting today. I can't believe I paid to hear that. Who's next? I am. Ah, again. Uh, I want you to tell me the name of my future husband. His, his name? But, but that's impossible. What? My flower's not good enough for you? Calm down, I'll take a look. Crystal Ball, reveal his name. Ich kann dir nicht den Grund, ich sehe euch im Edo, auf dem Schlander, und auf dem Schlander. Who is it? I want to know now. Right, um... I'm really starting to doubt your ability to predict the future, sir. You have it? I don't have his name, but I see him passing near here on his way home. Really? Who is Don't it? see for yourself. He's right outside. Oh! Wait! You can't leave! I finally found you! After all these years, I'm the baker's daughter, and soon we're going to be married! Married? Oh. Lucky for me, he seems interested. <laughs> He also predicted that a baby girl would be born before year's end to Marianne Simpson. Marianne Simpson already has four girls. Everybody knows that. It's no surprise to anyone the fifth child was a girl. Anyone could have predicted that, Catherine. He predicted Jonathan's grandmother would fall ill last week. No one could have known that. That's right, she has a flu. Half of the village caught the flu after that cold spell last week, and older people are even more susceptible. Even Misha could have predicted that one. But, Mother... Enough! Be quiet, Catherine. Can't you see you're upsetting Mother? You both are. Now leave me alone so I can take my beauty seat. Yes, yes mother. mother. I wonder how he could have predicted that the baker's daughter would be marrying such a fine boy. Wait a moment, Catherine. Yes? Did you say the baker's daughter? Yes, the oldest. The one you said would never find a husband. She served us when you brought us treats at her father's bakery. She actually met him right outside the fortune teller's tent after she paid to find out his name. <laughs> They've already announced it. They're having a big wedding next Saturday. Cinderella! Huh? Cinderella! Answer me this instant! Yes? What took you so long? I must have called you a hundred times. What is it? Aren't you feeling well? When you finish the floor, I want you to go into the village and bring back the fortune teller everyone's talking about. A fortune teller? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Hey, I've heard of him. He uses a crystal ball to see the future. <laughs> is he honest? Is it free? <laughs> I hope so, because I have nothing to give him. I would love to know my future, though. <gasps> we have to get to the village. It might take a while to find him. Oh, there you are, Cinderella. Thank you, Mr. Carter. We should try the park first. Right. Let's go. <sighs> I hope he's here. Hmm? Which way did he go, Pat?
you're hungry too, Patch. But you can't go bothering strangers for food. But they're grilled chestnuts. Patch, come back here. Oh? <gasps> oh. What's wrong with your dog? Maybe you should have him on a leash. I'm sorry. He's not usually like this. <sighs> if you're hungry, you can get some of these from that vendor over there. I didn't bring any money with me. Oh. Do you think you could give my friends one to share so they'll stop following you? <laughs> sure I could. But if you want me to share my chestnuts with them, you'll have to pay me for every one they eat. Hmm. Come on, Patch. Let's leave him alone. We have to find that fortune teller soon or Mother will punish me when we get home. Fortune teller? Hey, wait! I think I can help you find the man you want. You can? Oh, listen to him, Cinderella! Anyone that stingy can't possibly be trusted! But you'll have to pay him. The old man's decided he only predicts the future if you have something to give in exchange. My stepmother's quite rich. Well then, I'll tell a fortune teller to be there this evening. Where do you live? No, don't no. tell him anything! We don't trust him! think that boy knows the fortune teller. Just because he knows him doesn't mean he'll send him over. If he doesn't, we'll have to face one angry stepmother real soon. I'll just tell her what happened. Right now, we need to hurry home so I can finish my chores and get supper ready. Good idea! I want to see the fortune teller first. What for? My future's more important than yours. That is not true. Anyway, I'm the one who told Mother about him first. It doesn't matter which of you goes first. Your futures will be the same. Cinderella, when will a fortune teller be here? You found him, didn't you? No, not yet, but... What? No, I'll never get to hear my future. Mother! Explain yourself. I met a boy who said he would send him over. Can you trust this boy? Who is he? Where did you meet this one? Yes, you do seem to have a knack for making friends instead of doing the errands I send you to do. Now tell me, who exactly is this boy, hmm? Madam, there's a visitor here to see you. Will you see him? A visitor? At this hour? Yes, he's an older gentleman, and he claims he was told to come here by a young man. Says he's a fortune teller. He made it! <laughs> I am the fortune teller. Whatever future lies ahead, my crystal ball can see. A crystal ball? Tell me what you wish to learn and I will ask my crystal ball to seek the answer. It can reveal all mysteries. I'm going first, Jean. No, you're not. I am too. I'm going first. Which way is it? Oh, Mother. Where's the fortune teller going? May I help you? I've had a hard day, and since you didn't send a coach for me, I've walked a long way. After you feed me, I'd like to go to bed. Goodness, you certainly have some nerve. <laughs> I'll predict all you want in the morning. I suppose we can wait until tomorrow. Cinderella, give him something to eat and keep him company in the kitchen. I don't want to see him until tomorrow, understood? Yes. And I don't want him using the guest quarters either. Yes, ma'am. I understand. More. Oh, of course. Look at him. He must be starved. That's his big helping. I hope you won't get a stomachache from all that soup. Whenever there's food, I eat everything I can. Hey! No. <coughs> Tonight you'll be sleeping in the attic. It's a small room, but the view is nice. But if he sleeps up there, where's Cinderella gonna sleep? Well, I don't know. 